hello friends hope you all doing well in this video I'm, I'm going to show you guys a project that is based on wireless energy transfer so before i start the video and show you people how to make it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and if you like the content that we are making please hit the like button so without waiting let's start so what we need for this is an insulated copper wire 9 volt battery a battery connector a light emitting diode or LED, a 2N2228 transistor and a 27K ohm resistor. So for this we need, to, we are going to need two coils, one is a receiving coil and one is a transmitting coil. So first I'm going to be making the receiving coil. So you can take any um, cylindrical object to wrap it around to make a coil. And for this we will need to have 30 turns of this. Uh, of, of the wire one two Now after you have done 30 coils, I will cut this piece. Now after you take the coil, all you need to do is, you we take this, the endings and we just wrap it around so it will, the coil will stay there tightly. So uh, the receiving coil is ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this LED and connect it to the endings. So before connecting the LED, I need I told you that the copper wire is insulated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to burn off the insulation. So you can do that or you can also just scrape off the insulation with um, sandpaper fixing it with the soldering iron. So now we are making the transmitting coil. The only difference between this and the receiving coil is that after 15 loops we are going to make, uh, make a loop and then we are going to continue the other 15. And then after this, we get make a loop and just twist it and keep it on the side here. And then continue turning 16, 17, So I've finished 30 rounds, now I'm just going to remove it from here and just finish setting up the transmitting coil. So I removed it from the cup, now as you can see there are three terminals, the loop, the start and the other ending. Okay, uh, just like before I burnt off the insulation on all the endings. So well, next thing what we need to do is we'll take the positive of our battery connector and solder it onto the loop and then we're going to have the negative of the battery connector going to the emitter of the transistor. If you hold the transistor flat side up, the uh, terminal to the left will be your emitter, the center is the base and the right is the collector. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
के बताया सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज वे आर गोइंग टू टेक द कलेक्टर टर्मिनल एंड वे आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट इट टू एनी ऑफ द टू टर्मिनल दैट आर ओवर हि Now the last step is we are going to take the 27k ohm resistor and connect it to the base, and then the other side will connect it to the other terminal. So the connection is ready. so to make it uh, firm firmly stay in one place we are going to be sticking it on cardboard uh, so now the energy transfer system is done let's connect and see if it works so i have off the light so you can see it more clearly the more near i bring the bring it the more brighter it becomes and when i make it far away it also the light goes out so i bring it close now i want you guys to see that there is a no connection between the coil so i have put a piece of paper and still if i go far away it's less and closer it's more so the science behind this is called mutual induction now you people nowadays can see that in modern smartphones the wireless charging is using the same technology this is just a basic model of the wireless charging that is used in phones and the only disadvantage of this uh, wireless power transmission is that it has a very high energy loss So that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you like the video, share it with your friends and family and keep supporting my channel. Thank you. Stay safe.